Hello, hello everyone. I'm Lauren and welcome to my channel Fab Faith Beauty where we are cultivating beauty from the inside out. New subscribers, hey there. I am so, so happy to have you. And um, today y'all, I'm so pumped. <laughs> I found a way to mount my camera. So y'all don't know what this means to me. I'm just practicing gratitude right now and I'm just super thankful that I can mount my camera for these videos so I no longer have to hold them and balance them while I'm trying to talk with you guys and you know, have like shaky camera work going on. And it's just, it's just nice. I just thank God. I want to start this video, first of all, just by thanking God. Y'all, he is good. He is good. And I, I, like I said, I'm practicing gratitude and it is just, um, it's wonderful what practicing gratitude will do for you, what it will do for your mood and, um, how it will just make you be so much more appreciative of what you have. Um, yeah. So anyway, maybe that'll be another video. But today, I want to talk to you guys about something that um, God placed on my heart actually like over the weekend. We're almost midweek now. It'll probably be midweek by the time I post this. But you guys, um, it's like it, it just it won't let me go. <laughs> so I'm going to have to bring this to you all. And what I want to talk to you today about is how to keep your peace, how to keep your peace and um as I began to think on this topic a little bit more, I was like, wow, you know, how many of us have challenges in life um, with people, whether it is a, a spouse, a family member, a friend, um, a, a coworker, or a boss, um, you know, we, we just, we have these, these, sometimes these little challenges, um, and, and sometimes disagreements and, and things, they just come up, right? They just come up. But what I want to ask you today is, will you be petty or will you be peaceful? Will you be petty or will you be peaceful? And I want to encourage you today, don't join the petty party. Don't join it. Don't join it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't join the petty party. Here's why. In the word of God here, um, I'm in the book of Colossians uh, chapter four, or actually, excuse me, no, this is chapter three, and um, I'm at verse 15, and it says here, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace, okay? It says, I'm going to read one more time, it says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace, and now... When I read this, I said, oh my gosh, it doesn't say be peaceful, be peaceable, be nice. It says that we were called to peace. Believers, children of God, women of God, we have been called to peace. And to me, that is a mandate. That is a mandate. That is a directive, direct from the word of God. Bible says that he is the word. So this is direct from God. He is telling us that we are called to peace. We serve the prince of peace. And if God, if, 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 if Jesus who came in the flesh and, and, and did everything that he did here on this earth for us and now, and now sits in heavenly places and who reigns over, over all of the heavens and the earth, if, if he is the prince of peace, then how much more should we be walking in peace here on the earth? as representatives of him, right? So to me, this was just a really big reason to just to, you know, to be peaceful. Cause sometimes we just need, you know, it's just, especially like you guys, when people bring drama to you, sometimes you want to, you want to go toe to toe. You know, the flesh in us wants to, um, and the ego in us wants to rise up and say, oh no, she didn't. No, she didn't talk to me like that. Who she thinks she is? She don't tell who she don't know. She must not know who I am, right? Come on, y'all. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. But guess what? We have been called to peace. We've been called to peace. And um, it's a practice. I think peace is something that we have to begin to start practicing in our lives. Um, even in the smallest ways. When you're in the, you know, in the line at the grocery store and you've been waiting forever and then you finally get up to ring your stuff out and the cashier has an attitude and is just really nasty to you and you want to give her a piece of your mind, practice peace, practice it, practice it um, because we're called to it. We're called to peace. 
And also, so let me go back here. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm still in Colossians chapter 3, but I'm going to backtrack to verse 12 because this right here stood out to me. It says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And you guys, when I read that, I thought, what a perfect analogy. What a perfect analogy. Here in the word of God, we see how we should be clothing ourselves spiritually. Okay, we see how we should spiritually be dressing. And I thought about it and I said, oh my goodness, you know, when we're getting ready, for instance, like for me, I, this is just me. Maybe I don't know how y'all are, but this is me. Like I'll pick out what I'm going to wear. And it used to be back in the day before I had kids, I would, you know, pick out everything I'm going to wear from head to toe, accessories and all, and just kind of know it's all going to work. And I would get dressed and be fine and walk out, walk out the door and be done. But now it's like, I have just enough time to like lay out what I'm actually going to like, what clothes I'm actually going to wear. And I can tell you, like, I seriously, like how many times I will put my clothes on and I'll be like, something is missing. Something is missing from my outfit. Like, you know, there's just that one thing that you're missing. It's like, okay, oh no, I just need to add my earrings. If I add my hoop earrings, it's perfect. Okay, oh no, it's my shoes. Like maybe my shoes are just off and I need to change my shoes. Okay, I changed my shoes and now I'm set. Now I'm good. Now I slay. Yes, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. It's like that. It's that one piece that you need in your, uh, you know, in your in your uh, wardrobe to, to complete your outfit, to, to pull everything together, to make it work. That's what the Bible is saying love is. So if God has told us here in the word that we need to clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. We need to bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances we may have against one another. We need to forgive as the Lord forgave us. And over all of these things and all of these virtues, we need to put on love because it is what binds them all together in perfect unity. Y'all, love is that thing. Love is that love is what is going to help us slay in the spirit realm. Does that make sense? It's not good enough for us women of God just to slay like this. It's it's fine to look good. We want to look good. We want to look good for our husbands. We want to look good, you know, for our, for you know our significant others and whatnot. We just want to look good for ourselves, and that's wonderful. There's nothing wrong with looking good. Okay, y'all know this is fan faith beauty. But what I'm saying is, we want to shut it down, honey, in the spirit realm. We want to be able to slay in the spirit because at the end of the day, guess what? The Bible says that all of this is gonna fade away. And the only thing that's going to remain is our spirit, our, our spirit woman. That's that's what's going to remain. At the end of the day, all this, y'all, you know, I, I hit my 30s and everything. Y'all, you know, you start to see wrinkles and start to see different things. You need a little bit more concealer than what you used to or whatever, you know. Hello, hello. I mean, if you live for any length of time, you're going to see and see some of y'all in y'all, you know, 20s, y'all might not get it because in my 20s, I was like, oh my gosh, what wrinkle? Who? I don't have a wrinkle, you know? But y'all, as you get older, you're going to see that this body that we are in, it is corruptible. That means we are breaking down every day that we live. Even if we're working out, we're taking care of ourselves, we're building our muscles. Sure, that's great. That's wonderful. But guess what? Everybody's days on this earth are numbered, mine and yours. And so we've got to get this thing right in the spirit realm. We have to, we have to. God admonishes us to in his word. He said that we are called to peace. He said that we need to put on love. Okay, we need to put on love in addition to all these other things because it's what binds, excuse me, it's what binds, you know, all of that together in perfect unity. So you guys, I just want to thank you for <clears throat> joining me for this little study today. I just wanted to share that with you because it's just something that, um, that God, like I said, he placed on my heart. And I just want to encourage you in that area. You know, don't join the petty party. Don't do it. It's not necessary. Rise above it. You know, we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And if our daddy is a king, that means we're princesses. We don't have to stoop down. We don't have to stoop down um, and, and, and get into Satan's territory. Can I say it like that? Stay out of Satan's territory. Stay out. Of, listen, oh my Jesus, stay out of Satan's territory. If, 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 if other folks want to act a fool and, and show they tell, so to speak, y'all, I'm from Kentucky. If they want to show they tell and they want to, you know, act like they don't have any sense, 
and you know they want to try to bring you into all of that no you stay above all of that you are better than that and it's not saying that we're better than other people but you are on you you you're, you don't have to operate on the same spiritual plane as people that are operating um in, in, a, in a in a base level and at a low level because you know they're so close to hell i'm just saying we trying to go up i'm trying to go to heaven i'm not trying to go to hell so why would i go down and stoop down um, to, to, to meet someone else where they are with their foolishness. If I do, it's because I'm trying to meet you where you are, because I want you to know that where you are, you don't have to stay because of Jesus Christ, because of what he did for you and what he did for me. That's if, if I come, that's what I'm coming down for. You know what I'm saying? That that's, that's where, you know, you meet people where they are, but, but don't meet people um, where they are in terms of wanting to wrestle with them and, and, and fight with them because the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Okay, but against principalities, rulers, and high places, that means we just, we, it's spiritual things going on um, that, that we wrestle against. It's a spiritual warfare, it's a spiritual battle. So you're dealing with uh, demonic forces more than you are dealing with people, whether you realize it or not. So the best thing that you can do, if you want to avoid um, getting into these petty situations, and if you want to uh, stay out, away from and out of the pity parties, be prayerful. Just be prayerful. Continue to see God. Continue to seek his faith. Don't get caught up in minor stuff. Don't get caught up in little bitty stuff because we serve a great big guy. You don't have to get caught up in, um, in silliness and in foolishness, okay? Um, Bible says it's no, there's really no point in trying to reason with a fool because it can't be done. It can't be done. So I hope I encourage you guys to practice peace a little bit more as you go on throughout the rest of the week and um, throughout the rest of your day. God bless you. And I pray that wherever you are in the world that you are happy, healthy, well, and blessed. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.